So right now, I'm going to admit to you a completely and utterly unfair advantage I had that allowed me to make millions of dollars in the online game that you probably don't have. And most of these make money gurus will never admit this to you. They'll never tell you, hey, you have a disadvantage. We have something that you don't. Buy my stuff. It's amazing. It's easy. But they actually have something. Most of them have something that you don't. I'm going to tell you what that is, what that unfair advantage is. And if you don't have it, how you can actually develop it. So my first business ever, I invested about $2,000 when I was like, I don't know, 18, 19, maybe 20, into this airbrush tattoo kit. And the idea was that you would do birthday parties or you'd do festivals and you would you know, charge $10, $15, $20 to do an airbrush tattoo. And the airbrush tattoo itself costs like nothing. So, you know, I would do these kids' birthday parties and things like that. And I'd make, you know, three, 400 bucks and I would put airbrush tattoos on them. Well, I started learning that you could make a lot more money in the carnival circuit. And so I went and I spent, you know, two, three grand of the money I had collected on getting a booth at like actual carnivals, like real carnival, like, like county carnivals, where there were thousands and thousands and thousands of people. And I would set up my tent and I would do these airbrush tattoos and I would make sometimes two, three grand in a day. It was bananas. And I remember one time I went to this fair and I drive there in my beat up Chevy Blazer. I was really broke, I had student loans out the butt so the two to three grand I would make, I'd make it all at one time, but then there wouldn't be another festival for like a month or something or, or a month and a half or two months. And I was digging my way out of, a hole, out of a hole and there were expenses and things like that. So while that sounded like a lot of money, I was still actually pretty broke. And I had this beat up Chevy Blazer. I, I'm on my way into the area where you set up all the booths. And this guy with a trailer is driving on the other lane. Well, it was this RV trailer with one of those extensions where like the bedroom extends out. This dude leaves the bedroom extended out and starts driving down. And so as I'm driving, I see this and there was nowhere for me to escape. The bedroom is out. I'm driving towards it. I stop the car. I start to reverse. He keeps going and he smashes his bedroom right into my Chevy Blazer, completely totaling it. So I'm stuck at the fair. I can't go to a hotel because, I mean, there was no Uber back then, right? So I'm sleeping in my tent for this whole week-long county fair. At one point on the first night, I'm bored and because I never stayed in my tent before. And this carny comes up to me and says, hey, man, do you want to get drunk? Now, this was back 15 years ago when I drank, and I, I, don't, I don't drink anymore. So this was, this was probably one of the reasons why I don't drink. He whips out this bottle of black velvet, which is this horrible, cheap whiskey, right? Just horrible. And we start drinking it, and he starts telling me all of these stories of carnivals, and I learn all about the carnival game, and I learned that really most carnies are people who have warrants out for their arrest and, and are wanted, and the only recourse they have is being on the carnival circuit and staying away from the cops. That I did not know. And so he tells me all this. We're hanging out. I pass out. I wake up. It's like 9 a.m. the next morning. People are walking over top of me. I'm hungover like... Like, all get out. I crawl into my tent, and I realize I have to now do this whole 15, 16-hour day completely hungover. Well, when I was passed out on the ground, this bug of some sort bites my heel, and I had this huge sore. So over the next two days, I developed this infected sore. My foot blows up to the size of a football, and I'm sitting there with my foot up like this on a chair, Spray, spray painting these children with these horrified parents looking at me with this huge foot. I'm literally like calling people and I'm like, I'll give you a free tattoo. Cause you know, if I would do a free tattoo, people would gather around and see what was going on and then they would buy. And so I would, I was just hustling. Right. And this was very painful. This, this whole situation was very painful. And in this process, my pain tolerance would creep up and up and up and up. And I had I ended up having a very high tolerance for pain, for BS, for 
all kinds of stuff. When years later, when I opened my first bar and restaurant, and I own tons of different businesses, and let me tell you, brick and mortar local is way harder than online. And that's that's really where this unfair advantage that I'm about to share with you is actually going to come into play. So I open this bar and I start dealing with things like bartenders not opening the, the, the bar because their boyfriend beat them or they decided to get strung out on some drug. And then, you know, the cops would come in. And because I didn't give them a free drink, I didn't give anybody free drinks. Nobody got a free drink in my establishment. <laughs> it was you paid. Uh, they got angry, and so they would always mess with me, and they would come and say the music was too loud when, like, it wasn't even that loud. And then just all this stuff. And I had to deal with them, and I had to argue with the cops, and the cops would shut me down, and blah, blah, blah. Just all this BS, all this struggle, this incredibly massive amount of 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 crap I had to deal with. And so my pain tolerance was like sky high. So when I got in the online game and it was like, oh, you learn to market and you, you get a client and you run Facebook ads for them or you create a digital product or you sell this thing online or you make affiliate commissions or whatever, whatever the game was. To me, it was incredibly easy. Not because the actual skill or the, the mechanism of it was easy, but because Whatever problems came my way in it, because everything has problems, it was such a low amount of pain compared to all the crap I had to deal with in all the different brick and mortar businesses that I own. And so the little teeny microscopic to me problems in making money online was like nothing. And so when those problems came to me, I effortlessly dealt with them and pushed through. And it's not that I'm any better than anybody else. It's not that I'm better at anything than anybody else that tries to make money online. It's that because I had such a high tolerance of pain, I pushed through those initial problems that everybody gives up on. And I got good at those things. I became a lot better than most people. I made a lot more money than most people because, not because I was better, but because I had a higher tolerance of pain. That is the unfair advantage, is your pain tolerance. I'll tell you this right now. If you work a nine to five job, your pain tolerance is likely extremely low. And you might say, well, well, Dan, my job is really hard. Y yeah, it might be, but the guy that owns the company, trust me, it's way harder. They're dealing with way more stuff than you, plus risk and responsibility. See, you get a paycheck no matter what. When you're a business owner, you're not guaranteed a paycheck. So imagine working as hard as you, you are working right now. You times that by at least five. You aren't guaranteed a paycheck. And you have to deal with way more BS and way more responsibility. And you probably have to put up a lot of your own money and time. Like that's way harder. And so your pain tolerance has to be way higher than that of an employee. And so I'm gonna tell you in a second how you can develop an extremely high pain tolerance right now, even if you've always been in a 95 employee, even if you've never owned a business. And this pain tolerance will allow you to murder anything in life that you wanna do. And I'll tell you that in a second, but let me state this one very important point. When you are a nine to five employee and you have a low pain tolerance and you jump into entrepreneurship and you get in the online game and all the gurus and all the, the make money people and they, they tell you, this is easy. It's easy to make money online. Here's the thing. They're telling you that because they know if they say it's hard, you won't buy. If I tell you, hey, I'm gonna help you save your marriage, but it's gonna be very difficult, it's gonna be a lot of work. Versus, hey, I'm gonna help you save your marriage, and I, we found this secret system, it's easy, it's effortless, you're gonna, it's a lot more likely that you're gonna buy. Just as if I say the same thing with weight loss, just as if I say the same thing with making money. If you tell people it's easy, they're more likely to buy. The reason I used to say it was easy is not because I wanted people to buy easier, it's because at my core heart, and I'm being 100% genuine here, I really believe it's easy because compared to the stuff I had to deal with in my career, in my life, it is astronomically lower amount of pain. And so if the pain is here and my pain tolerance is here, there's no way I'm not going to succeed. Just as if your pain tolerance is here and the amount of pain you deal with, oh, wow, the Facebook ad didn't work. Oh, the client said no. Oh, people didn't want to buy. Oh, your post didn't go viral. Oh, your YouTube video didn't kick off. So what? Try dealing with a police department that every Saturday night they come and try to shut your business down so you can't even pay the bill. Like, guys, there's way harder things out there. You need to start artificially increasing your pain tolerance. And here's how you can do that. Start with getting up extremely early. 
five, four, 5 a.m. Why? Because it's painful. It sucks. You also get a lot done because everybody else who would bug you and distract you and annoy you is friggin' asleep, doing nothing with their life at 5 a.m. And you are. You get up early. Why? It's painful. You quit drinking. You quit eating sugar. You quit doing drugs if you do them. You quit going out and doing stupid things that accomplish nothing in your life. You quit playing video games. Why? Because these are all forms of satiation. These are all forms of creating dopamine. You start small. Start with getting up at 5 a.m. Start with going to the gym every day. Start with taking a walk. Start with reading one chapter of a boring business book every single day. It takes 10, 15 minutes and incrementally start increasing that pain. Because look, it's painful. I, I'm not going to lie to you. All right. I would love to just sit around all day and watch Star Wars with my hand in my friggin' balls. I, I really would. Like, I, I'm not going to lie to you. I would absolutely love to just sit around. If I got paid even half the money I got paid right now, and my job was to sit around all day and watch Star Wars and scratch my nuts, I would absolutely take that offer right now. Give it to me. Okay. Of course I would. Who wouldn't? But because I want more, because I want to make an impact, and because I want to create a legacy, I know that what's required to do that is painful. It's not sitting around watching Star Wars like Al Bundy. You have to start increasing your pain so that your tolerance increases. Little by little, more pain. And when you do that, over time, your pain tolerance will increase. So when you start doing things, whatever it is, however you try to make money online, however you try to make, whatever you try to do, you will easily be able to overcome the challenges because that's what stops people. What stops people is not, oh, it works or doesn't work. What stops people is that it's hard. You ever felt like that? You go to do something, everybody tells you it's easy, you see everybody else win, and then you do it and it, it's not so easy. And so you go, oh, must something must be wrong, so I'm going to stop or I'm going to do something else. Well, that cycle right there is why you don't win. Some people call it the matrix. Some people call it the machine. Some people call it the game. The truth is, the game is rigged. It's rigged to give you cheat codes, to keep you complacent, to give you an opportunity to make life easy, because if life is easy, you won't have a high pain tolerance. And people without a high pain tolerance, they don't change. They don't, they don't push for change. And when you don't push for change, the people who benefit from things not changing, they benefit more, because things stay the same. And so they feed you ways to be complacent. They feed you ways to just be like, oh, this is fine, I'm comfortable. You need to start introducing pain so that your tolerance goes up so that you fight for the change in your life that you deserve. And I promise you, anything you do in life, anything you do absolutely will be easier because your tolerance will be higher than the pain.